youth runner here with uh, Summit standout uh, Josh Shriver. Uh, Fifth place today uh, in the boys' championship at the 38th Roy Griac Invitational. We're at Les Bolstad Golf Course in Minneapolis. And uh, Josh, uh, I was walking away from Heritage High School in Liberty Bell last week saying, regardless of what the outcome is going to be at Roy Griac, I knew that you were going to be better having gone through uh, uh, Liberty Bell last week. Like, just how much uh, uh, do you feel like that not only motivated you, but just, you know, but uh, just really kind of made you more purposeful and intentional uh, for what you did, uh, you did today? Because I saw a guy that learned a lot from last week and applied it in this race. Yeah, Liberty Bell was, um, it was bittersweet. Um, I love that course, but I mean, I got, I got kind of rocked last week. That was, I mean, that was six days ago. And I remember finishing that race and just being so pissed and, you know, uh, it's kind of the point of the year where you know things start to get hard. You know those those training days. You know you don't you don't want to go to practice every day in the afternoon heat and do these long workouts. And you know you kind of get mentally down on yourself sometimes. But you know I I try to just stay positive and then you know get on the flight, come out here and um, be able to you know run with a chip on my shoulder and you know prove to myself that you know I'm as fit as I am and that you know I. I work hard in training and that, you know, I'm fit, obviously, and that I can race well. Um, and I think I showed that today. Um, I'm really happy with fifth. It was, I think last year I was 17, so I came here, dropped some time, and it was definitely a lot hotter this year. Uh, beat some more guys, and overall I just felt a lot stronger than last week. I remember last week I, I felt like so weak and so lactic last week, but uh, this was one of the most fun races I've had, I think, in all my cross races. It was... It was super cool running on like a true golf course. Uh, there was people just lining the whole way, and yeah, I don't know. It was kind of surreal to to be to be feeling that good out there. I said to Ella, like, it's a blessing to have two races in a span of seven days for her because obviously she keeps the momentum going. For you, like you said, big chip, and you want to you know rinse that that bitter taste out of your mouth ASAP. And obviously, if you had to wait two weeks or three weeks or a month. You know, then you just kind of have to like let it linger, right? So, how good was it for you just to be able to turn the page uh, right away and come out? And, you know, and obviously, I know you respect all these guys, but you don't need to know all these guys like you know all the people in Colorado, right? It's just like, hey, they're going to compete, I'm going to compete, and I know that I can compete with the best of the best. Yeah, I think definitely the biggest thing I've learned is you got to take the low with the high, and I mean, you don't want to stay down for forever, but you got to recognize that being down is part of this sport, and you take every opportunity to you know turn your luck around and you know get back on top of to where you want to be and I mean this was a great opportunity I'm I'm glad that my team was able to come out here and that I had teammates that make this trip fun and that I was able to put together a good race to make this trip fun and make the race fun um, as for like racing kids I don't know that was definitely I think a big thing for me I feel like when I race kids in Colorado like at Liberty Bell I was looking to my left and right I'm like oh here's this person you know I'm racing kids I know yeah. some of them are my friends you know some of them I don't want to get beat by and I just get in my head I'm like I, today I just turned my mind off and I was like, all right, just go run hard for yep. the race. I had no idea who, who people were next to me. People were shouting names and they didn't meant nothing to me. Like, so it was definitely a big like. It was, it was more. It was better for my mental game today yep. to not know who they were because I was able to um, just compete with them, treat them like they were, you know, like I was like they were like. And they're, AI. Just, yeah, yeah. They're, they're just they're, nameless and faceless, yeah, they're, they're right? Yeah, they're just nameless and faceless yeah. people. Yeah, absolutely. Are you, uh, are you more encouraged now to go back in the lab and put together a good training block to get yourself ready for the postseason? Yeah, I mean, I don't. I try not to train with any emotion. I mean, if I'm doing good, I'll train hard, and if I'm doing bad, I'll train hard, maybe a little harder even, uh, with a little more intention. Um, but I think I'm in a good spot. I'm feeling fit. Um, obviously, there's going to be ups and downs the rest of the year, but I think I'm in a good trajectory. Um, but I'm excited. This is my last year. My team is making really good strides and training's going well. So I'm really excited to see where the season takes me. Awesome, man. Well, again, just a shade over 16, uh, top five overall. Uh, all, the, all the guys in front are in the Heartland. Uh, he's going to be matching up against the best of the best in the Southwest uh, when we get to uh, November. But obviously, uh, some good time ahead uh, for Josh Shriver and the rest of the uh, Summit program to continue to get better, stay healthy, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you.